that now? Y'all doing all right? All right. So, all I want to do is do a quick update. Probably about six, seven months now since I've had to go sports. It seems like it ain't been that long. It might have been eight months or whatnot. But anyway, so the first video we talked about a couple of things. Now after I've had it for a while, we're going to talk about a couple other things. Okay. Um, I did see that I was getting a couple of burn holes from breaking, so I don't have a cloth at this time, but I do have this little piece of cardboard, I guess, to just, not cardboard, but, you know, just to actually have something where I'm not um, getting burn holes, from all, burn holes from all the break spots, okay? So what we're going to talk about is before and after on the ironing, we can talk about the pockets and a couple other things that I'll touch on. Okay, so when I first talked to you guys, I was telling you how one of the pockets wasn't fully extended. Actually, I went up under there and I was getting frustrated with it. And I did a, um, I just found out what was wrong with it. And it was stuck in a certain place with a staple, pulled it, boom, that was fixed. So maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I will tell you that areas on the pockets were coming loose and the balls was coming out and hitting the ground. Not on every one, but especially that one it did it. So what I did is I took a, a rubber band, like a black little rubber band that usually you might tie up hair or something with and um, cut that, tied up the pocket because at that point I figured that it would be able to have some 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 uh, buoyancy so it can move around and it would it would work and it did so if you have the table or you're thinking about getting the table um, the pockets might come undone with play that right there will fix it uh, with the rubber band. I haven't had any problems after I put the rubber band on the pocket and tied it up in a knot and there you go. So I haven't had any problems there. Um, also, real quick, after an extended amount of play, right, I, I've seen where sometimes the little curvature in this pocket will reject the ball. So I'll hit the ball in and it'll bounce back out. Not a lot. You know, not a deal breaker, but it's something that I did notice had, had started happening after I played for a couple months. Um, another thing that I want to do real quick is talk about what happened after I ironed it. So I ironed the table, and I might iron it again. I probably will definitely iron it again. Um, but it did lay it down, and I brush it all the time. I do a lot of maintenance on it far as just you know keeping it brushed even days I don't play I might just come in here and brush the table real quick so the roll is definitely better I will say that I will say that through a lot of practicing I've gotten better so when I do go to the to the Coliseum that's the name of spot where I shoot at when I do go to the Coliseum I know it's a big difference in how I used to play how I play now, how I implement skills that I learned on um, TV, uh, Dupree, the guy named Dupree on YouTube, uh, Dr. Dave, a couple of guys that I'll get a lot of information from to help me out as I shoot. And being that I can look at this and then do what I need to do on this table, it really, really helps out. So if you, if you have a TV or something that where you can actually do that, I suggest it because it's nothing like being able to see something and see what you might be doing wrong or see what you can improve and then go straight to the table and start to, um, to do that and practice. So I do like that. Uh, real quick, right? What I'll do right quick is do a quick ball in the pocket test for you guys so you can see how many balls actually fit in the pocket. A good little bit, like it's not just four balls or five balls that are actually fit. I mean, it'll, it'll hold a number of balls in the pocket. A number of balls in the pocket. That wasn't a good shot. But anyway, so let me just throw another one out there. And we'll, we'll 
we'll see how many balls. That's one. That's two. That was mine. <laughs> so we on two. That's one thing with like playing was at seven. Yep. When I was playing in the league, I would get too nervous and too excited and would be shooting like shit. So having this table at home, what's that, seven? Eight. Eight. We got nine ball in the house. That's all we got. So that's eight. Okay, so. Let's go eight, nine, ten. <laughs> so you get the picture, right? Ten is good. I don't want to stretch the pocket side. So you see, you can get ten balls in this pocket. So that's that's a that's a pretty good, <laughs> that's a pretty pretty hefty pocket if you ask me, right? So so we got ten balls in that pocket. And another thing I want to do for you guys is talk about the level. So I haven't done a lot of leveling since I got it. I've done really minor. So this is practically out of the box, okay? So this is out, this is um, how I got the table pretty much with a little bit of adjusting. So if you can see that, that's right smack dab in the middle. That's where that bubble is right there. It'll go right here. That's a little, little to the right, but it's in the middle. So we'll go right here. It needs some adjusting, but it's right there in the middle. This is out. This is practically out of the box. Okay, so you're getting a good idea of how level the table is just coming out of the box. It does have um, twisties on the bottom of each leg where you can twist it to elevate or take the table down or whatever you need to do to adjust it. So that's, that's, that's right. That's pretty good for just, you know, out of the box. So right here, down here on the table, these little feet, those little feet right there, you just turn, okay? And as you turn, you, you get your adjusting on. Now I will say, if you say like, what's up with all these stickers, right? So sometimes, um, with this brake stick that I have, it has an edge and it might nick the table or something where it gets some scarring. So the first time I got a little scarring on this black piece, I put a sticker on it and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put stickers on it. So I got stickers on it. If you was wondering where the stickers came from. Um, also, real quick, some of the burn holes, you're probably not going to see because of the lighting in this room, right? But some of these burn holes that you might see, like, um, for instance, let's go right here, right? So I notice if I rub it, it kind of goes away. And then I brush it. But where, where did it go? I'm, I don't sit here and do this all day long, but I did notice that it worked. So if you have a couple little burn holes on your table, you can literally just rub them bitches out down there, so... And it might just be for the moment, but I mean, it works, okay? Um, also, while I got this level, let me show you guys the playing surface, right? So we're gonna turn that light back on. So this is the playing surface. That's like right there in the middle, right? So we'll go down here. That's right there in the middle, right? We'll go down here. That's right there in the middle. This is the playing surface. We'll go right here. 
It's right there in the middle. I'm gonna go down here. It could probably use some adjusting, but it's in the middle. So the plane surface is pretty good. I don't have, it has a roll every now and then where you'll see the ball, the ball kind of roll to the left or to the right, but you're gonna have that. Even on your diamond billage table, you're gonna have that every now and then. Um, I don't know really what's the cause of it, but you might see the ball kind of, see how that kind of went to the right as it slowed down. Maybe it's the balls. Maybe I should get the, the Aramid balls that a guy was telling me about not too long ago. So I might try some different balls. Um, I, I've actually learned how to play with these bunkers. I might miss this, but just shooting a bank shot. You know, it's getting a lot. I don't know, maybe over time it's having a better reaction. I can't really, I can't really say if if it hasn't had a better reaction, but the bunkers are pretty good. You know, I was worried that the bunkers wouldn't be be that great, but you know, they're rolling. You know, it, it's the more I play on this table, it's almost like a breaking in period, right? So the more I play, I'm not trying to make a shot. I'm just shooting off the bunkers. But the more I, I was trying to make that shot. <laughs> trying to make that. But uh, the bumpers have seems like they've improved over time. So I will say I will give it that. Man. Throughout the six month period, seventh month period that I've had a table, it has it has um, become more fluent and and allowing things to naturally go as opposed to when I first got it and everything was stiff, like the bumpers were stiff, the table was slow. This felt this felt was was slow as shit. And I was I was upset about it for a while. But then I was like, you know what, this is what we're gonna do. So with the brushing, right? So this is the brush that it, that comes with the table. This is the brush that comes with it. Where's that brush? Where's that kick? All right, so this brush right here is the one that came with it. This is not really going to do anything other than get your corners. Yeah. You know, this is not a table where I would sit here and, like, brush all the time. So after about a week of this, I was like, this has got to go. I'm not going to be able to do it. So I got this one, and, you know, we brush. We can brush now. And then when we get down to the corners, then the one that came with the table is the one that I use. So I can get down in here with the brush. So I would definitely advise highly that you get a pool table brush so you can train the felt. You know, training this felt is is a very crucial part to the experience of playing on this table. Very crucial. So I would definitely um, get a brush, brush the pocket, I mean brush the tables. I'm thinking about the pocket that I was about to show, try to show you guys. I don't know if it's going to happen. But this side pocket, not the corners really, right? But this side pocket right here in particular is the one that will give me the most ball rejection. So if it's going to happen, it's going to happen on one of these tables. And I got a buddy, he be like, it didn't go in. I'm like, that. I'm here it. But anyway, so if, if, you, if you hit it and it catches that lip just right, It'll bounce out, you know, but it's not, it's, it doesn't do it all of the time, but it does do it. So that's something to um, consider whenever you're getting one of these tables that, you know, it might do that. But if you like me, you want to, you, you know, you balling on a budget, as we say, you balling on a budget. This is what, a $500 table, so four or $500 table. So, I mean, you know, if it want to kick a ball back at me, it's okay. You know, I wouldn't expect that on like a $2,000 table, but this table, yeah. I mean, you can fold this up, you can put it away, you can, you know, move it around. Glad I said that. So this is just barely, right? Not a lot of, not a lot of strength, but if on wood, it will move, right? I, will, I think maybe carpet, it might be a little bit better, but it can move back. It'll, it'll move back. So that's not a deal breaker. But whenever you get those really long shots where you you know you might need a bridge or something and you lean in on the table, it might 
it might move a little, you know. But if it's just you, then you know what you got to do to not make it move, and, and that's what you do. So usually if anybody moves this table, it's not me. It's, uh, you know, I've, I've learned... I've learned what I need to do to not make it move, how I need to, to, to lean on it, lean over it. I've even been able to actually like start shooting with my left hand and getting better at that. You know, if you're at the pool hall, right, let's just say you're shooting left hand, somebody comes in and then they want to, they want, you saw that? Yeah. Beautiful. So that's how that works sometimes, that ball will pop back out. So, you know, you shoot left hand and, and you know, and then they want to play you for a drink. You switch them up on the right and bust their ass right quick. But, you know, that's what I like to do is try to practice with the left. I do a lot of, a lot of shooting with the left because I don't do the behind the, behind the back shots and try to get that, try to get that um, angle. I just shoot left hand. You know, being that I got this table at home, I can do that. So... I like, I like having this table at the house. Like I said before, ladies and gents, this is not one of those tables where you're trying to like impress a group of people. But if you are actually trying to get better at pool because you love the sport and you and you know you like the competition and you don't really have it in your budget to spend a bunch of money on a slate table, then I would definitely go for the pro sports. I can't really compare it to any other table because I haven't had any other table. I've only had this table. Um, I play at the Coliseum a lot, right? So that table there, it's a diamond table, 10 plus, all right? On, on a scale from one to 10, it's a diamond. Um, this table, I'm gonna give it, I'm, I said last time I was gonna give it, I mean, I would have to give a diamond table like a 15, really, on a scale from one to 10. And give it that extra because it's slate you know this is not slate but it will help you improve your game it helped me with my confidence on playing new people i used to just get i, I would i would delaminate right there in front of anybody and everybody that i was playing if i didn't know them if i didn't know them, i'm just oh god i'm in my feelings and then i just boom mess up you know and even recording i was getting a little anxious and messing up but Having this table has eased that a little bit, tremendously actually, to where I can actually go and if I don't know you, I'm comfortable with the game because I've been playing, you know, and being that I have certain angles and, 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 and I have just, I'm able to practice certain shots and, and different angles. When I do go shoot at the Coliseum, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting pretty good and, and they know it. You know what I mean? Mom told me the other day, he was like, you got the equipment at home. And I'm like, I don't even hardly play a lot, but I don't really play a lot. I play more on, on the weekends, but you know, it's what, it's a, it's, a, it's a Wednesday right now, Tuesday. And I'm up here playing, which is rare. But I, if I, I have that option because it's at the house. So if I wanna play all day, or if I wanna play a little bit, being that I got this little practice table, that's what I call it, my little practice table, my PT. This is, this is I have that option. So if, you know, like I said before, if you're balling on a budget, go for it, man. This is a, actually a, a pretty good buy for me. And I treat it, I treat it like it's a $2,000 table. You know, I don't, I get a little antsy when there's children playing on it because you know children are children. But if you grown and you know how to play, then I definitely don't mind you playing on this table. Um, my wife and I we play all the time. She's getting better. I'm getting better. We can we can we know that we're getting better. We see that we're getting better, and it's it's because of this table. So let me see if there's any other things I want to touch on right quick. Did the uh, I did the pockets, I did the level, um, yeah, so this is just a quick update, real quick, right, so I got this projector, so I can actually put it on the wall in here, and, excuse me, put this on the wall, and watch videos, and, excuse me, so if it's either pool videos, or if it's just music, I got that off of Amazon, I got this off of Amazon, I got that off of Amazon, 
I got sticks off of Amazon. I got brushes off of Amazon. So I don't know if this is like an Amazon review or what, but <laughs> this room is uh, is an Amazon room. You know, everything in here, damn near, besides all this stuff, it came from Amazon. So projector, table, you know, the rack, all that. So big ups to Amazon on that. I don't own any copyrights to anything that's playing. I don't have any type of music in this video. I think I got banned one time because it was like copyright. So, you know, this is Mari to the D signing out. Appreciate y'all watching. Leave some comments. Ask what you need to ask. And oh yeah, real quick, this one lady or person, I'm assuming it was a female, could be wrong, had asked me about resurfacing the table. So this is $500, right? So if you are going to do it yourself, that's one thing. But if you're going to put like, I've even thought about maybe putting a speed cloth on here. If I did it myself, that's one thing. But I don't know about paying anybody to come and resurface the table at 500 bucks. And then they're going to charge me about $300 to do it. You know what I mean? So if anything, if you was going to put $500 in it and then you got another three, just get a better table. You know, look on um, Craigslist or something for like a bar table. Uh, or somebody selling a slate table. People sell pool tables all the time. This is upstairs room, so I really didn't have the room to be able to, or the, you know, I don't know what the weight restrictions is on this on, on this floor, but I don't know if the slate tables are heavy. So this was just a, a, a good buy for me overall because of different things that I, I was looking for when purchasing this table, all right? So anyway, signing out, Mari Tutti. Well, wow.